Dobar dan. Včas mi je, da imam to priložnost sodelovati na seminarju v organizaciji Istuž. Tega verjetno ne boste razumeli. Dobri den, dobri den. Je prav me cti, cti če imam tudi možnost zúčastniti na seminarju Požadanja host už. And further on I will speak in English. So, uh, my presentation uh, will touch uh, legislation and experience uh, with light pollution uh, in Slovenia and uh, partly in Croatia. Uh, and I will also try uh, to touch uh, some wider uh, aspects, uh, which I think uh, are very important uh, when dealing with light pollution and uh, which are uh, usually a little bit uh, forgotten and uh, should be taken uh, into account. Um, these are just my competencies and activities. Uh, I will not go in detail. Uh, I've been dealing quite a lot uh, with this topic uh, for the past, uh, let's say, four or five years very intensely. And intensively. Uh, my main area of interest was uh, road and street lighting in uh, and that mainly in non-urban areas, which are, I think, uh, most affected on the front line now in Slovenia. Uh, and I've been mainly searching uh, for reasons uh, for uh, what is going on and uh, for solutions, uh, what can be done to solve uh, the problems. Uh, and my primary motivation comes from here. So this is the place where I live. Uh, and I think that uh, although probably in the Czechia, it's a little bit different because uh, as I heard, you also have already villages uh, illuminated from the past. I think that we should stop uh, already before such villages. Although this, this is quite, uh, let's say, a big uh, village already, I don't think that lighting, uh, road lighting, street lighting is really, uh, is really needed here. Uh, with a, a decree, which uh, I think was the first one on the state level uh, in the world, uh, light pollution prevention decree in 2007, uh, there was a, uh, big progress made, uh, but the problem is that light pollution is still rising. And uh, the main problem is that uh, I think most sources are quite uh, under control, but the road lighting uh, is more or less uh, spreading uh, without interruption or even accelerated. Uh, now amendments are uh, planned and uh, this is in process, uh, should be uh, accepted in the next year. And this will for sure bring additional progress, but my estimation is that even that uh, will not be sufficient. Uh, similar in Croatia, uh, they started uh, in the last years and uh, in 2019, 2020, uh, they adopted a law and, uh, and the rules. But uh, I think that again here, of course, there will be large progress, but this progress I can already show the cases uh, which uh, this, uh, this law will not stop. Uh, as I said, uh, in Slovenia, uh, big advances were made with the light pollution prevention decree in 2007. Uh, most of our uh, road lighting, for example, is now uh, you are zero, that means that uh, no uh, light, there's no light upwards allowed. Uh, all uh, road uh, lamps are flat bottom. Also for most of other uh, uses, uh, uh, this uh, condition is set, but there are some exceptions. Uh, and also um, other uh, sources uh, of light uh, pollution were addressed. But the road lighting is still systematically, very systematically and very intensively spreading uh, to all populating, populated locations and even connections between them. Uh, so I think that uh, in general, the road lighting has become one of the key factors of severe environment and landscape degradation in, in our country. Maybe the situation is a little bit different uh, than in some other country, but uh, there are many countries that are even worse. I will maybe mention some countries for which I think that they are better. Regarding the load, road lighting itself, uh, here I have listed uh, different, uh, let's say, legislation recommendation uh, papers uh, which, are, which are influencing that. And the only document, okay, there can be some small things, but I think the only document that really 
requires the lighting uh, are rules on the road design. And uh, one sentence, two sentences there, uh, if too much is uh, required there, uh, we can have many, many uh, locations uh, all around the country. And we did have them uh, with references uh, to, this, uh, to these rules. Uh, then further Slovenia Lighting Society recommendations and standard EN 13201, uh, road lighting standard. Uh, I think that uh, these documents have to be deeply revised, else it will not be good for us. Uh, regulation on limit values for light pollution or decree. This is the decree which I was talking about, uh, was adopted to, let's say, to counter uh, what is not going uh, right uh, with the with these uh, requirements for for uh, illumination. Here I mentioned spatial planning legislation, which I think should probably be the first starting point for everything what we are doing in controlling light pollution, because also in, uh, let's say, top expert circles uh, of light pollution, uh, we are too much talking only about light pollution, which is only a sub problem. Um, but the problem is also landscape degradation. The problem is what we are doing, what we are putting in this, into the space. Uh, okay, uh, I will expose one thing here. Uh, in Slovenia, contrary to some, uh, to most of other countries, we have a limit of, an of permitted annual consumption per capita. Uh, but this limit uh, was, uh, could be uh, effective with the old light uh, lighting, which was more energy consumptive, but with LED, uh, this uh, limit uh, has fallen and uh, has no more effect and we have to change it. But of course, such limits are, uh, I think, a must, but uh, such limits are not enough. Uh, so, Although uh, we made the big problems, uh, road street lighting uh, has exploded, exploded in the in the last decade, and is, it is not under control now. Some other uh, so, uh, light uh, pollution sources remain unresolved. Uh, for example, uh, advertising facilities, billboards, uh, and we also have. Uh, some cases of good practice, uh, I, I would like to be more positive, but uh, I'm afraid that uh, really with all the progress, uh, it's a little bit um, not too much to show as, uh, as really good pra practice. Uh, but I think that uh, illumination of, uh, of uh, cultural monuments, uh, buildings uh, is uh, quite uh, okay in Slovenia. So, uh, it's uh, very limited uh, how much light can uh, go uh, by uh, the object uh, and also the levels uh, are usually not high. Croatian law and rules, uh, this is again uh, quite, uh, let's say thought out document. They were working uh, for quite a long uh, time on that. For sure it, it will bring progress, but the problem is, by my opinion, uh, that uh, their light pollution prevention uh, legislation uh, too much uh, starts uh, basis on uh, the lighting profession recommendations, which are unfortunately, by my opinion, uh, by my opinion, uh, too too high in many cases. Uh, other limitations are similar than in Slovenia or are some more advanced because uh, Slovenian decree uh, needs, uh, uh, needs a re revision. Uh, in Croatia, uh, the road street lighting remains a problem. So the, the brand new uh, legislation uh, does not prevent uh, such cases uh, as we see here. Uh, does not uh, talk, uh, does not limit locations enough uh, and also the density uh, of illumination remains uh, remains uh, high. Planned improvements, improvements in Slovenian decree. Uh, okay, constraints uh, on light color, which uh, the light color was not mentioned in the presently valid version. Mandatory dimming and switching or, and or switching off. 
uh, reduced allowed value of annual consumption per capita, uh, which I already mentioned before. Uh, road light lighting outside settlements uh, should be prohibited, prohibited, maybe with some exceptions. And okay, this is this was only some exceptions, uh, exception from this uh, light upwards. Factors preventing sufficient success, by my opinion. Uh, in Slovenia, there's uh, really quite a lot of knowledge in the light pollution community, but there's no communication with the ministry. Uh, or there's not enough uh, communication, there's not enough will. And as I, I see in uh, your country, uh, things are much better and I'm really pleased to see that. Uh, and uh, there are some, I, I wrote here for political reasons, uh, it's, uh, let's say, restricting lighting within settlements uh, can be politically sensitive. Uh, restricting lighting on highways can again be politically sensitive in uh, relation with uh, uh, road authorities. So uh, there are some things which will remain and uh, I think that uh, the legislation will still not be effective enough. Uh, here I wrote that urban planning part of the ministry of the environment, environmental ministry uh, is partly involved uh, in the latest activities, uh, which I found, find uh, very good. In Croatia, uh, the problem is that the content too much derives probably from the recommendations of the lighting profession. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay, I think that they will uh, they will meet uh, similar problems as we do have uh, in Slovenia. And I'm afraid that uh, other countries might uh, have similar uh, problems. A little bit uh, wider uh, view on uh, what exactly is the problem. Usually uh, when in uh, expert circles we are talking about uh, light pollution, we are talking about ALA. That's artificial light at night. But my opinion is that maybe this is not the complete enough expression. So it's not only Alan, but it's artificial lighting. The whole uh, thing is a problem. So the whole approach is a problem, not only uh, what is at night, uh, and uh, there's also what uh, we do in aesthetical asp uh, aspect uh, with urbanization, with all these lighting poles uh, in the space, uh, that is a problem as well. And uh, more comprehensive approaches are needed if we want to solve the problem. So it's not only light pollution, but also landscape and settlement degra de degradation. And maybe I could find some more. Here, uh, I tried to uh, turn the perspective a little bit. Uh, so I said the complete goals is uh, complete goal is comprehensive control of side effects of outdoor lighting, which of course, first is limit light pollution and its negative impacts but also preserve space, space, minimize energy consumption, optimize financial expenditures. And in the neural sense, the light pollution also has uh, different levels, prevent impacts on the living world and ecosystems, prevent, prevent disturbances to humans, minimize sky, sky glow, which is the, probably the most known light pollution problem. And I think also a wide changing of natural night, night in any location where lighting is not really necessary. What is light pollution? I had a look in uh, Google and uh, I found, for example, this excessive or poor use of artificial outdoor light. Okay. Measurable negative impacts on our, of artificial light on the starry sky ecosystems, human health, and so on. Okay. Yes, that's true. And okay, we usually forget visual degradation of natural and uh, cultural heritage. Uh, but okay, I should not, not really completely strike through, but it's not only that. Uh, any artificial light that propagates in outside, outside space is a pollutant, regardless of its useless, useless usefulness source, period of use, uh, or the energy expenditure. Uh, so that's why the default choice should be not to illuminate, not requiring that a reason for non-use is provided, which is the case today. And the question, where are the limits? This is, this is our area from the other perspective where I live. Uh, we can see here road lighting, okay, houses, uh, some facade lighting, uh, yard lighting, 
there are different sources and where will we stop? We can really uh, take whatever we can afford with our money or we can step a little bit back. This is our one of our most beautiful regions, Gorenska, uh, where the mount, uh, Alpine, the high uh, Alpine mountains begin. Uh, this is how the region looks like. Uh, <laughs> this was the address uh, photo in my uh, article in a newspaper. So who, what rules the world? Uh, is it the, this uh, Saint Chapel here or uh, the, the road lighting? Light color and intensity. Uh, okay, these are already more details uh, and more profession uh, in details. Uh, so is this light color here okay and this intensity okay? Again here, light color could probably be better in some places. Uh, this is how it looks like uh, in our countryside, in, in a village, not in a city. I will just go uh, fastly through. So the consequences, consequences are light pollution, landscape degradation. This is not aesthetic. Uh, we don't think about design very much. Everything is industrial. Uh, and at the end, the security is decreased instead of being uh, increased. Okay, the problems with uh, public lighting, I will not go through all that, but there are different levels uh, where the public lighting makes problems and where it is not addressed correctly. In Slovenia, uh, we really heavily illuminate transit roads. Contra in contrast to Austria, Germany, I saw also in Slovakia, it's much better. Uh, and there are no serious limitations also uh, for uh, illumination of local roads. This is how the lighting spreads. It was in 2000. Uh, 2020, and if you go to the end, it will be like this. Some more cases uh, very extensively uh, illuminated. Here, the question is illuminated or not. Uh, now, the answer is illuminate uh, very uniformly. This is the case from Croatia. So, in general, culture of using artificial light in outdoor spaces, I think, is quite very low. And specifically, the road lighting is too much totally dominated by very questionable technical rules without other contributions. In general, I think that the problem can be solved by, quite easily, but do we really have political will to do that? Uh, in any case, we need to be more comprehensive. Uh, we have to must have some more practical knowledge uh, and some more decisive legislation. Okay, that's it from my side. Thank you.